Americans around the nation will never forget the tragic events of September 11, 2001, and that includes Hoosiers. Our own Indiana 9-11 memorial was dedicated in 2011. Tomorrow, it will be rededicated to mark the 20th anniversary of the terrorist attacks. Joining me live this morning is retired Air Force Brigadier General Stuart Goodwin. He's the executive director now of the Indiana War Memorials Commission. Good morning to you, and thank you for joining us again. It's, oh, it's good to see you again. Absolutely. So let's talk about this dedication. It's definitely happening tomorrow. Well, what, uh, there's several things that are happening. When the, uh, initially, when they, at the 10-year point, when they, put the, uh, when they put the project together, uh, there were no flags. So we're going to install an American flag and a state flag. Uh, we have uh, a piece of stone from the Pentagon where the jet hit the building, uh, Indiana limestone, obviously. And uh, so I was, we were talking earlier it's about It's an the, interesting story about this. This was it's, in, at Crown Hill, right? Well, what happened was it was stored at Crown Hill, and then we took the, we took the, the properties over in 2016. Uh, initially, they asked us to do it, but uh, it was a first responders thing. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a military thing. So we took it over in 2016. And so we brought the stone, the 800-pound piece of stone, to the War Memorial. I walked by it every day when I, when I was going out of the building. And one day I looked at it in a different angle, and I, I said, that can't be. And I went and got one of the employees, and I said, look at that from this angle. What's it look like? It looks like the state of Indiana. Wow. Where were you on 9-11? I was uh, chief of staff for the Indiana Air National Guard, and we had two F-16 wings, one in Fort Wayne and one in Terre Haute. And the Terre Haute uh, unit was uh, flying combat air patrols uh, within three hours. So uh, it was a busy day for, for our troops. Tell me a little more about tomorrow's ceremony and rededication. Well, the rededication part of it comes to the point that initially uh, they asked us to take over the, 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 the management of the properties in 2011 when they built it. And uh, so we took it to the commission. And basically the commissioners, uh, we, we all thought that uh, this was a first responders event, police, right. fire, and EMS. Mm -hmm. uh, military was involved. It had people in the airports. Uh, we had people that were flying, obviously, protecting the skies. But the heavy lifters were the, were the other group. And so what happened was they came back to us in 2015 and asked us if we would manage it. And uh, at that point in time, we'd lost 5,000 military people, and we felt we had a legitimate seat at the table. Right. Uh, and so we did take it over in 2016, and so we started, you know, we've been planning now for, uh, for several years about the 20th anniversary, and we changed the name of it from the Indianapolis Memorial to the Indiana, Indiana. Memorial so that we can honor all Hoosiers that uh, were involved with that with that's, that event. That's fantastic. Yesterday a survivor's tree was planted and what's interesting about this is this is from a sapling from a tree that actually was found at Ground Zero that survived. The story is that they uh, because of the devastation all the trees on the property were, were, were killed and so they found one tree that was uh, they thought was dead but it wasn't and so they started to take saplings off of it and the thing that's really interesting is that the New York people have a state law that no individual can own one of these trees. It has to be owned by an organization. And so we, uh, when we did the design, we actually had a place for it, uh, for the tree, and it's mm -hmm. on there now, and we've uh, been working with the state arborist. And so there's, uh, there's going to be that. And then the other thing is we're going to honor Tim Maud, yeah. Lieutenant General Tim Maud, who's a guy that I knew for a long time back when he was a, when he was a lieutenant. And so just a great guy, great family, and he was like the HR for the whole army. Right. And so we're going to, we have a stone dedicated to that right next to the Pentagon stone. And his, his wife is going to be at the, at the service, and she will speak along with Governor Holcomb. Very quickly here before we go, there's a fundraising campaign underway basically for maintenance of the memorial. Really quickly, how can people help? Well, uh, we go online to the Indiana War Memorials. There's a place to do that. And then what we're trying to do is that this, uh, the story is that this, all, this property originally and now, no state funds. It was all done with private money and we want to keep it that way. And so if they'd like to help us with the maintenance of it, we'd be, we'd be grateful to have it. All right, retired Air Force Brigadier General Stuart Goodwin, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Really do appreciate it.